The Four Steps to the Epiphany by Steve Blank. Welcome to this podcast. In this episode, we will talk about the top 10 lessons learned from the book, The Four Steps to the Epiphany by Steve Blank. But before we move forward, let's give a brief introduction of the book. The Four Steps to the Epiphany is a widely acclaimed book by Steve Blank. It is a must read for every entrepreneur and startup enthusiast. The book outlines a customer-centric methodology for startups, that is Lean Startup. The book provides insights into the four-step framework that Steve Blank advocates, which includes customer discovery, customer validation, customer creation, and company building. But it's not just these steps that make the book great. It's the invaluable lessons that come along with each of them. Let's dive in and understand more about what one can take away from this book. One. The first lesson you can learn from the book is, start with a problem statement, not a product. Most startups fail because they come up with a product and try to sell it, then they try to figure out how to solve the problem. In contrast, successful startups focus on identifying a problem that their target market faces and then figure out how to solve it. Steve Blank emphasizes that to create a successful and sustainable business, you need to focus on the customer and their requirements. So rather than creating a product and hoping that people will want it, identify a problem and then create a solution for it. Two, identify your target market and prioritize. One of the most common mistakes that many startups make is not identifying their target market carefully and prioritizing it. But if you want to create a successful business, it's essential to identify the target audience and prioritize the need for your product for them. The book emphasizes that to create a successful business, you must have a clear idea of your target audience and their requirements. Three, create a minimum viable product, MVP, to test your hypothesis. A minimum viable product, MVP, is the simplest possible version of your product that you can create to test your hypothesis. It's a principle that every startup should follow to successfully validate their ideas. One of the biggest challenges of a startup is to test the feasibility of their idea before investing too much time, effort, and money into it. Steve Blank suggests that creating an MVP will help startups to test their hypothesis in a cost-effective manner. Four, focus on customer discovery rather than sales. Many startups make the critical mistake of focusing too much on sales before truly understanding their customers. In contrast, the book suggests putting more emphasis on customer discovery. Customer discovery is essential to understand the market's pain points, requirements, and expectations. It helps startups to align their product offering with the target's requirements, making their offering more relevant. 5. Validate your product market fit. Product market fit is the alignment of a company's product offering with its target market's needs. Finding a product market fit can be incredibly challenging, but doing so is crucial for the success of a startup. Steve Blank suggests that to validate a product market fit, startups must validate their hypothesis through customer feedback and data. Through customer validation, they can analyze the market's response to their product offering, which helps them improve their product based on feedback. Six, create a repeatable sales process. Creating a sustainable sales process is critical to any business's success, and it's particularly important for startups. Steve Blank suggests that startups should create a repeatable sales process to attract leads, nurture them, and subsequently convert them into paying customers. A sales process helps a startup to identify gaps in their product offering and improve the product accordingly. 7. Managing growth is critical for success. Managing growth is vital to the success of any startup. Once a business finds its product market fit, it needs to be able to manage its growth to scale the business. Managing growth is one of the most complex challenges faced by startups. Steve Blank suggests that startups must manage their growth and scale their business accordingly. 8. Team building is crucial for success. No startup can succeed without a talented team. Team building is an art that requires patience, effort, and time. Steve Blank suggests that entrepreneurs must work on building a team that shares their vision, has complementary skills, and is passionate about the product. 9. Pivot when needed. Pivoting is one of the most critical decisions a startup can make. Pivoting is the act of changing the startup's direction when the current approach isn't working ideally. Steve Blank suggests that entrepreneurs should be willing to pivot when necessary to align their product offering with the market's requirements. 10. 
Execution is the key to success. Lastly, one of the most critical lessons learned from the book is that execution is the key to success. The Lean Startup methodology provides a framework for entrepreneurs to build a successful business, but it's execution that makes it happen. Steve Blank emphasizes the importance of implementing the framework and executing successfully. Host, that's it for this episode of the top 10 lessons learned from the book, The Four Steps to the Epiphany by Steve Blank. Remember, building a successful and sustainable startup is not easy, but it's not impossible either. With the right framework, principles, and attitude, successful entrepreneurship is entirely achievable. Thank you for listening to this podcast. We hope that you found it informative and helpful. If you have any feedback or any questions, do reach out to us. We would love to hear from you.